I take no issue with the androgenization of mascots in commercials. It's not a big deal. They're trying to virtue signal that they're against some of the old standards in advertising where we pretty much held up women as eye candy. Even their earlier advertising showed this sort of thing, you know? And they're trying to project this notion that they're against using sex to advertise products. Yeah, obviously they're just virtue signaling. Obviously sex sells. They want to pretend that they're better companies now, which we all know is just a bunch of horse shit. Though, to be honest, when many people think of the United States, the most common stereotypes are lots of guns, women with big breasts in skimpy outfits advertising something nefarious, religious people who only follow the hateful parts of the Bible or some of the hateful parts of the Bible, and big trucks that rarely get actually fully utilized, driven by guys who have small dicks. And so we'll probably start seeing more commercials that have messaging that claims to go against that type of stereotype and tries to make people feel bad for either representing or expecting those stereotypes. And sure, there is woke ideology being mixed in with all this new advertising, just like we see everywhere else. And maybe that annoys you. And you know what? That's fine. Whatever. I don't like it either. But there have been plenty of advertising campaigns that used guilt to sell products. They use guilt, shame, insecurity, bad self-esteem. And over the last several years, they've learned to use a new type of guilt. Well, it's not really a new type of guilt, but it's a different side of guilt in order to sell their products, which is wokeness. Align with us and our products or you're a bad person, right? I don't view using wokeness to sell products as being really any worse than any of the other methods they've used to sell products. They'll do whatever they think they can get away with to sell products. Making mascots androgynous should be the last of our worries when it comes to what advertisers will do. I think using animated mascots to sell unhealthy products to a market that includes children is in bad taste all around. I don't necessarily think it should be banned, but it is in bad taste. McDonald's ended McDonaldland commercials and pretty much all of their mascots in 2003. Yeah, it may have been entertaining, but between regulations and it just not being viewed as in good taste anymore, it came to an end. So as far as what companies are doing now in advertising, who cares? It's just advertising. They'll always try to pull at our heartstrings. They'll always play in our misery, our self-doubt our insecurities, and they'll always push this notion that a consumer product is the answer to all of those problems. It's like watching a pharmaceutical commercial where when they start talking about the horrible, horrible side effects, which they only say because they're required to say it, while showing joyful things on the screen, usually with great cinematography, showing the smiling faces of the people, they're usually walking in a forest or something like that. You know, maybe, maybe it's a, a, a barbecue at a park or something, right? Listen to all these horrible side effects. Yes, we've, we've all seen those constantly. Especially from Pfizer, right? Brought to you by Pfizer. Advertising in general is just a twisted mess. It's amoral, which is different than immoral. They're not doing it to hurt people. They just don't happen to care if they do. They just care what they can get away with to sell something. And what sells things today will not be the same type of thing that will sell the same kind of product five years from now. Honestly, in many ways, it's a lot better than the way it used to be. There's so much that advertisers know that the public won't tolerate anymore. Or, you know, they'll roll their eyes or they'll groan or whatever, right? They can't nearly as blatantly try to make people feel bad about themselves to sell a product. At least blatantly to the people that they're marketing towards, right? You know, so yeah, there's, there's so much that they know that the public won't tolerate anymore, and there's also so much that they can't do because of regulations. But you know, they're always finding new things that we will tolerate for a period of time. What do you think about this? Let me know in the comments. Thanks.